Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at how to stream all your media from your Plex media server to a VLC media player. So wherever you store your Plex server on an old PC or network attached storage, NAS for short, or any other device that you're using to store all your media, you can stream this across the local network uh, to VLC media player if you wanted to, and I'll show you how to do it. First, you're gonna need to get yourself Plex Media Server downloaded and installed on the system. Or you can do this on your uh, Synology or QNAP or any of those uh, network attached storage devices. I'm using Synology here, uh, so I don't need to download this onto my PC. I've already got this set up on my actual uh, NAS drive. So you can go here and download this. If you're using an old PC, you can use the Plex Media Server software on there. And if you've got loads of hard drives, you can store all your data on there and basically share it. Next, I'm gonna to go to uh, my network here. So let's go to File Explorer and then go to Network. Inside here, you're gonna see I have my uh, network attached storage here. So I've got mine set up and all my content is on here. And what I'm gonna do is use this to basically uh, store all my media. So let's go ahead and sign in here. Inside here, you can go into the application or package center here, and uh, you'll be able to download and install your packages. There is one for Plex inside here, which I've already got installed and set up. So you just need to go through the setup process. If you wanna see a video on how to set this up onto a PC, then let me know in the comments section below. I'll be happy to make that video on how to store and set up all your data. So you can see here, I've already got it installed. If I open this up now, it will open up Plex Media Server uh, on here. So let me go ahead and get the next piece of software, which is gonna be called VLC Media Player. You can use this as well. Download this uh, software from their website. It does work on uh, Windows. It also works on other operating systems like Linux, Android, and iOS and stuff like that as well. Uh, so you can choose which one suits you. So I'm going to download this, and I've already got this installed on my system. Now, before we continue with the setup process, let me just have a quick word from today's sponsor. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, click on this one, and then you can uh, see we'll bit the Buy Now page. Hit the Buy Now button. Put in my promo code capital B capital R 9 and apply this to your order to get a juicy discount. Once you click apply, it will be reduced down to $16.41. Submit your order and then activate your version of Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro. So you should now have VLC installed and you should have Plex installed. If you haven't been using Plex, then I'm not sure why, because it's been around a long time and it's a great way of sharing media across your local network and even outside of your uh, local network. So create an account, it's free to join and uh, it doesn't cost anything. And then once you've got this done, you need to go to this little uh, settings up here, click on settings. This is not how to set up Plex. This is basically how to share to VLC. You can see my NAS has been already set up here and it's uh, picked up here. I've already got this set up for all of my media. So I'm gonna come down in this section here and we're looking for DLNA. This is needs to be set up. This is for Digital Living Network Alliance. And uh, we need to enable that feature. And uh, if you don't see the uh, advanced options, you can just show advanced on the right-hand side here. But just put the check mark inside here, and this will uh, enable the DLNA. Just save those changes. And uh, basically, we are done inside uh, Plex. Now, if you've got all your media stored inside your Plex already, and this will work straight away. If you've never set up Plex before, you will need to go through the setup Plex process. And uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube. If you want to see a video on that, let me know in the comments section below. I'll be happy to make that video for you. Again, open up File Explorer here, and you should now see Plex is visible here on our Explorer. And uh, basically what we're going to do is go to Network here, and I'm going to open up my NAS here where I store my data. Inside here, you can see I've got files on my NAS, and this is where my Plex is installed. So yours will be different if you're using a PC or something like that. We're using a uh, network attached storage here. If I go inside here, 
there'll be some folders inside here with some content. And this is the stuff that I'm going to be streaming across my network. I'm going to be using some copyright free content here to share that across the network to VLC media player. So let's go ahead and uh, go over to VLC now and I'll show you how to set it up over there. So let's go ahead and click on VLC media player and you will be presented with something looking like this. Go up to the top menu system here and click on view and then click playlist. Click playlist and now you're going to be seeing a network area which is your local network. Universal plug and play, that's what we're interested in here. Click on this one and you should now see your Plex media server set up here. Yours won't say Office NAS, that's mine. Yours will say whatever yours is. Click on this. And it'll give you access to video, music, and photos. You can access them from here. So choose the location where you want to watch uh, your content or whatever you want to play on your VLC media player. I'm going to go down and choose that uh, file here. So I'm going to go to by folder here. Then once we click on by folder, you should see a bunch of folders here if you've set yours up similar to mine. And we can see here, I'm going to click on this Pixel Bay video, which is copyright free. And I'm just going to play this here and you'll see you would have audio and you'd be able to stream uh, your home movies uh, right away through VLC across your local network using this method here. Super silky smooth, no jerkiness or anything like that. Getting good playback here. And again, you can go full screen if you want to. And basically, you'll be able to play all your home uh, movies, music, videos, photos, and all that sort of stuff on VLC off of your Plex media server, whether it be on another computer or whether it'll be on a network attached storage. And that's pretty much it. That's basically how you can use a Plex media server to share your data across the network to VLC media player. If you wanted to choose that option, that is how you do it. Hit the thumbs up button. Also hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when we release new videos. Also leave a comment down below on what you want to see with Plex. And I'll be happy to make those videos for you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group and a special shout out to my tier three members, Celtic Lad, Edward Kelly, RTX Brody, Gary Capic, uh, PC Repair Tech, Vitality, uh, Phil's Computer Repair, Ron Hicks, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, Welsh Tony One, and Halbert Hewson. I really do appreciate the support, guys, and I shall catch you in the next video, or I will see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.